The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions says it will be making recommendations for amendments to the Firearms Act to specifically deal with the trafficking of arms. DPP Paula Llewellyn states that this development is based on the outcome of the Jermaine Rooms case. Rooms, a Jamaican believed to be living in the U.S., pleaded guilty last July to international arms trafficking for sending seven rifles, eight pistols, and 3,000 bullets in a barrel that was seized in Jamaica. Rooms admitted in a federal court in Florida that he was the person behind the shipment that was intercepted at the wharf in Kingston in 2017. Following a plea agreement and after an impact statement from Ms. Llewellyn, he was sentenced to 57 months in jail. The DPP says the investigation involved local and foreign expertise and highlights where Jamaica's legislation need to go. In the Jamaican legislation, the Firearms Act Section 4, though it speaks to importation without a proper license, it does not speak to arms trafficking. And coming from this, we are going to make recommendations to the Honorable Minister of Justice that perhaps arms trafficking could be considered to be put into our legislation. And the DPP explained the reasons behind the U.S. court prosecuting the matter, even though the shipment was intercepted in Jamaica. So in all the circumstances, given the fact he's domiciled there, and that they found, because they were in constant touch with us, they found what they did, which is why they made the request for the guns to be returned. They found this arsenal of guns. So it would have been a stronger case up there when juxtaposed with what was found on the war, as opposed to us asking for extradition, the time, the resources, and we would not have had available to us what was found that we found. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.